I was in the bedroom one night. Isabel ran up to me. Daddy, the white face is in the window. The white face is in the window. What's that? The white face is in the window. I seen it. It was just like a blur of a face. Honey, you wait here. I saw it and it freaked me out. I went and checked it out. And there was literally nothing there. I never believed in ghosts, but um, I do now. I could see something was wrong with her. I was giving her a bath. And she said, Nana, can I tell you something? Emily told me to go out the window. She told me it's okay to come out the window and play. She said she would catch me. And I said, it's not okay to go out the window. You could get hurt. Because if you go out that window, you're going to die. Sure to go. And I put like 12 screws in each window in her room to make sure that they were secured shut. I wanted to open this house up and bring light into it. And now my windows were being nailed shut so my daughter didn't go out the window. If my daughter died, I'd have to die too. Because I can't, I couldn't do it. Isabella never went near the basement. It was always a no-no. She just wasn't allowed down there. The door was shut. I feared the worst. Broken neck, busted head. Emily pulled me down the step. Now, my daughter is telling me this Emily person pulled her down the steps. We got in contact with a medium. I allowed this medium to come into my home to do an investigation. She would get into a, a long stare. She sat down, and I heard her sing, Mary Had a Little Lamb. It startled me at first. It shocked, it shocked the hell out of me at first. Because how would she know to hum that? Or how would she know that my daughter was singing that? It came to immediate stop, and her voice changed. Get the Bibles out. Get the Bibles out. Get the Bibles out. Both Bibles were taken out of the house. Get the Bibles out. Get the Bibles out. He said there's another Bible. Sure enough, there was a Bible. Isabella never showed us the Bible, and there was no way of this woman knowing it was there. I was upstairs, and I was on the phone with my mother. I don't know what to do anymore. She's saying to me, you gotta get out of that house. You, you have to get out of that house. I know, I know, and Isabella's just so upset, and I'm just... Out of the corner of my eye, it was something... It was so fast. I don't know. That night, I fell off to sleep with the TV on. I 
I knew instantly this wasn't my husband. I knew he was possessed by something. It was an evil, evil, dark spirit. It was very shocking. And I just, it just wasn't me. I was scared. I would never hurt my wife. But I was against the wall. It was the look in his face, a horrifying stare. He lifted me with one hand, wrapped into my throat. I was gonna die that night. <laughs> 